The first type of IMF we're going to look at is called dipole forces, or you may see it written as dipole-dipole attraction. Well, dipole forces, that's a force that exists between polar molecules. And the polar molecules interact, so the positive end of one molecule is attracted to the negative end of another molecule. Let's look at bromine monochloride as an example. Bromine monochloride is used, um, I believe, as an industrial disinfectant. So you'll know from the electronegativity values on your periodic table that chlorine has a higher electronegativity um, and therefore will have a partially negative charge, leaving bromine with a partially positive charge. Now, if we have two molecules adjacent to one another, watch what happens. Well, this negative will be attracted to that positive, and they'll draw themselves near one another. There'll be a force of attraction that exists here. So you can see um, that this force of attraction is between two molecules. So it's an intermolecular force. So this is a polar molecule, has a positive end and a negative end. This is a polar molecule, has a positive end and a negative end. So the type of IMF we see here are dipole forces. Remember, dipole force is nothing more than an attraction between two polar molecules. This is the first type of intermolecular force that we'll study.